Hey, this is Ethan with Comtech. I'm here today to demonstrate how to use the Yealink T29G. Now, the sheet that I'm going to go down is our training guide. If you do not have this training guide, please go to the link below. I'm sure it'll be in the description. Grab the sheet because I am literally going to go straight down the sheet. It's pretty simple. First thing, making and ending a phone call. I'll cover those together. Making a phone call, pick up the handset or press the speakerphone. It's that simple. You'll notice there in red, you don't need to dial nine, you don't need to dial one, you don't have to pick up a line. You'll actually notice there aren't any lines to pick up. Um, so we'll cover that in just a second, but just simply pick up the handset, dial 10 digits, and you're good to go. Ending a call, pretty self-explanatory. Hang up the handset or if you're on speakerphone, just press the speakerphone button. Redial and instant redial, we'll cover these together. So if you want to go right here to the RD button, uh, if you press that, it's going to take you to the last called numbers. Uh, feel free to, again, press the redial button again. If you do, it'll dial the last caller that you dialed, not the calls that you missed or anything but the calls that you dialed. So that is instant redial. Hold and park. I cover these together as well. Just remember, hold is personal, park is public. It, it's that simple. If you remember that, then it's easier to go forward. So what I'm talking about there is if you're on a phone call and you are coming back to that phone call, you just need to run and grab a document or whatever it may be you're gonna press the hold button, which actually happens to be right there. If you press the hold button, the caller's going to hear hold music, whatever your hold music is, whether that's custom or standard, and you can go do what you need to do, come back, again, press the hold button. If you want to, let's say the caller is asking for Susie, uh, and you need to see if Susie's in the building and see if Susie will take the call. I would recommend using the public hold, which is park. So you're gonna notice you have park one, two, and three up here. You may have more or less parks depending on what your business is. Uh, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one of the green ones. Green means available. When you press any of those parks, it's gonna, you'll see the call. It'll go away from your screen. You'll see the park light up red. And then you go and speak with Susie and say, hey, so-and-so's on park one for you. Susie walks into her office, presses park one. Again, the parking lot becomes available, so all of them will go back green again. And Susie will be talking to her, uh, talking to whoever she needed to speak with, and you can keep going. Intercom is if you wanted to see if Susie's in her office and you wanted to go straight into her speakerphone to say, hey, Susie, are you in there? What you're going to do is hit star five zero and Susie's extension. So if she's extension 100, you would press star five zero 100. Transfer and transfer directly to voicemail. I'm going to cover these together. Let's again say you're on that phone call and you want to transfer a call to Susie. What you're going to do is transfer button is right here. It's tran is the way they've labeled it. So if you press that button, you're going to get a dial tone. You're going to dial Susie's extension. Let's say it's 100. When you dial that, the trick to do a transfer, the trick to fully complete the transfer is you're going to hit that transfer button again. So it does take hitting the button twice. Now, transfer directly to voicemail. Let's say you know Susie's in her office, but she's in a meeting, so you don't want to bother her. You know this phone call should go directly to voicemail. Again, you're on the phone call. You're going to hit transfer. Instead of dialing Susie's extension, which is 100, you're going to dial 7 and then her extension and then hit transfer again. You have to hit transfer that second time to complete it. When you do that, what it's going to do is the phone call is going to go directly into Susie's voicemail. She will not, the phone will not ring at all. It'll just pop up on her email if she has voicemail to email or on her phone saying you have a message. Conference, if you're on a phone call with someone and you want to bring somebody in, whether that's internal or external, 
all of these buttons actually change over to soft buttons. Uh, and one of them will be CONF. And there's actually a conf button as well on the, this model of phone. So you can press either that button or the button that says conf. When you press that, you're going to get a dial tone. Dial internal extension or an external number. When that person answers the phone, you're going to press the conference button again. When you do that, you're going to see the calls on the screen merge together and you'll be able to talk uh, all three of you at one time. Check in voicemail remotely. This isn't a big thing anymore, primarily because a lot of our clients are using voicemail to email. So they're not saving phone messages on their phone. They're just getting it sent to email. But if you're not, or if you're still saving them on the phone, that's fine. Simply call into your main number, get to your auto attendant, press the star key, and it'll ask you what your extension is. Type in your extension and type in your password, which the default password is uh, 1212, which we'll cover in just one second. D and D button. This is probably the most uh, the the most call we get. It, it is by far the the call that we get the most. That D and D button happens to be right here. It stands for Do Not Disturb. So if you press it, you're going to see a little red symbol with a white line come up. That means this phone can make all the calls outside they want or internally. But if anyone tries to dial that phone, it will go straight to voicemail. So the phone will not ring. Uh, we, we get that call often saying, hey, my phone's not ringing, but I can make phone calls out. Hit the D&D &D button. Volume is down here. We call this situational volume. Whatever the current situation of the phone is, that is what it's going to change. So as the phone sits here, this will change the ringer. If you're on a phone call and you're on speaker, you hit the same volume buttons. Support, if you guys have any questions, email support at ComtechNC or give us a call. We'll be more than happy to, to chat about any of these items. Uh, let's flip over and quickly go over this side. This only take a second. This is what you should do if you are setting up your phone. Uh, so let's say you walk in the office Monday morning, management's replaced the phone system, and you have a sheet like this sitting on your desk. What you need to do is press the message button, dial 1212 as the password, record your name, and record your greeting. That's pretty much what you need to do, uh, if you will. Now, if you mess up your greeting, not all of us can get it perfect the first time. Don't worry, just look down that sheet there. You'll see how to change your name or how to change your greeting, uh, as well as how to change your voicemail password, which we recommend because everybody's is the same. One last thing, on the name, please don't skip the name. A lot of people just want to hit the pound symbol and go right through it. If you guys are using a voice directory in your auto attendant, so press one to go to our company directory, your name is how the system finds you. So please make sure you record your name. And again, our support at ComtechNC is always there if you need us. Thanks so much for watching.